Hello class and welcome. I'm your instructor Dr. Joel Domingo and I'm looking forward to a great class ahead. The course syllabus and all other associated materials for this class should now be posted online in the course information link. Please take time to peruse them and don't hesitate to contact me if you have any questions. For those of you who this is your first class with me, it's great to meet you. For those of you who have had me as an instructor before, it's great to see you in class again. Before we delve into the material in Module 1, I wanted to give you a brief introduction of who I am. Remember that you'll do something similar on the student introductory assignment, so I look forward to seeing those. I encourage you to try a video introduction method like this as it's a different and fun way to do so. If you've never done this before, don't worry. There are some instructions posted in the SIA discussion thread. I oversee the core leadership courses and the higher education nonprofit leadership and specialized study concentrations here in the School of Applied Leadership. I have a long history as a faculty member and administrator at several higher education institutions. And prior to academia, I spent a lot of time in the nonprofit sector, as well as a stint in the Washington State Governor's Office, focusing on developing leadership capacities in diverse communities across the state. Personally, I was born overseas and grew up in Seattle, uh, where I currently reside. My undergraduate degree was in psychology, my master's was in theology, and a doctorate in educational leadership, where my dissertation focused on a mechanism of social transformation and renewal viewed through the multi multidisciplinary lens of education, psychology, and the management literature. I also have a deep affinity for things related to technology, sports, and popular culture. To me, teaching is an honor, and I enjoy seeing the transformation that takes place through learning. I view our class as a learning community, and in doing so, recognize the streams of knowledge, experience, and expertise that each one of you brings on this journey together. All right, each week in this class, I will post announcements in terms of expectations for discussions and or assignments for the upcoming module, and periodically post these video announcements summarizing what we've covered, issues and things to think about, real world examples, etc. I'll also comment on things I've observed from your work both in the discussion threads and the assignments. Another thing that I like to do in these videos, uh, especially when important assignments are due, is to give you some small tips and suggestions on what I'm looking for in the papers. This might be highlighting content, ideas on writing or organizing your paper, or just even some APA tips. One final thing that I also like doing in my classes is to provide a real-time, synchronous opportunity for us to gather as a class. This gives us a chance to connect, to review the material, and discuss anything regarding our class or about the program. Think of them as a time to hang out with the professor. How I've done this is through Blackboard Collaborate or a live Twitter chat. I try to do this a couple of times during the term and it's usually before a major assignment is due. Uh, this hangout time is optional and not required, but I find that students like to touch base and get the opportunity to connect more personally. It's analogous to having digital office hours and you can come and go as you please. I'll set the first one up and let you know when it is in an upcoming announcement. One final thing from me, as in all my classes, is that I hope you have fun in this class and that not only is it informative from a content perspective, but it is practical and applicable to you as a leader. I always remind students that even though you're in a leadership program, you're already establishing your influence as a leader in your own context. 
I'm available for your questions, comments, and concerns, so don't hesitate to contact me. Thanks again, and I look forward to our time together. I'll see you all online.